Hello everyone, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Today I'm going to go over how you can start preparing your Mac for OS X Mavericks. Performing these tasks will not guarantee you'll have a perfect upgrade, but they will certainly help eliminate many of the common problems when upgrading to a new operating system. First off, a quick note. The absolute most important thing you can do before upgrading is backing up your Mac. And I'll get into that a little bit later in this video. It's worth every penny you'll spend on an external hard drive. So with that said, the first task is to make sure your Mac meets the minimum requirements. At the time I made this video, Apple had not released an official list of system requirements, but this is what they recommended for the beta users of Mavericks. If any changes are made to this list when Apple releases the official requirements, I'll update this video with annotations and in the description below. From what I know so far, Mavericks will support any Mac that is officially supported by Mountain Lion and you can upgrade if you're running OS X 10.6.8 or later. Just note that you may be able to install Mavericks, but there may be some features such as PowerNap, AirPlay mirroring, AirDrop, and others that may not run on some of the older Macs. Next, you want to make sure you have enough RAM. Again, Apple's not released their official recommendations for the amount of RAM you'll need for Mavericks, but most likely it will be 2 gigabytes. But that is a minimum recommendation, and I personally recommend at least 4 gigabytes and preferably 8 gigabytes of RAM. And don't worry, adding more RAM is something almost anyone can easily do. There are many great videos on YouTube that show you how to add RAM to your Mac. Next up is hard drive space. Apple usually states that you should have at least 8 gigabytes of free space on your Mac's drive to install a major OS X update. But you should play it safe by having around 15 gigabytes of free hard drive space. As I said before, it's recommended that you're running OS X 10.6.8, which is Snow Leopard, or later. The main reason for this is that Mavericks is available only from the App Store for download. So let's see how you can check all these things on your Mac. Let's go to the Apple About This Mac. Note that your About This Mac may look different from mine depending on what version of OS you have. Here you can see what version of OS you're running and how much RAM is in your Mac. Next, click More Info. Here you can tell what model of Mac you have in the way that the system requirements refer to a Mac, such as mid-2011. Click on Storage and you can tell how much free space you have on your hard drive. Then click on Memory and you can see how much RAM you have in your system. If you're wondering how much RAM your system supports, you can refer to Apple's tech specs on the website, which I'll link to in the description below. But sometimes the tech specs are incorrect because Apple sets their maximum memory configuration based on the memory modules available at the time of the product's release. Apple does not typically revise this limit as compatible higher density modules become available after the release. A great program to use to help out with this is Mac Tracker, which is a free download from the Mac App Store. All right, let's make sure our startup hard drive is in good health. For this, we'll use Disk Utility. Go to Finder, Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility. Highlight your startup hard drive and click the First Aid tab and then click Verify. If Disk Utility finds problems, you'll need to boot from a different volume, such as a bootable USB drive, to perform the actual repairs using the Repair Disk button. Next, click Repair Disk Permissions. And don't be surprised if there are a bunch of permissions that are repaired, especially if you've never done this before. If you're feeling especially cautious, or you suspect you might have a hardware problem, you can also run the Apple hardware test for Macs released before June 2013, or Apple Diagnostics for Macs released in June 2013 or later. 
Both will check your Mac for other hardware issues, such as bad RAM. Now, if you're using third-party encryption on your hard drive, it's recommended that you disable encryption before upgrading and re-enable it after the upgrade is complete and you've verified that your third-party software is fully compatible with Mavericks. Next, it's a good idea to make sure all your software is up to date. For Mac software and any software downloaded from the App Store, just click the Apple and Software Update and install any updates that are available. Most third-party software will have a software update check within the program somewhere, such as ScreenFlow here, click ScreenFlow and click Software Update. Also, consider going through your Mac's files and applications and deleting any unnecessary items. Consider this a good time for cleaning house. And most importantly, back up your Mac. You can use Time Machine or you can use other software that creates a bootable clone of your hard drive, such as Carbon Copy Cloner. The benefit to the clone backup is that you can boot directly from the backup right away if you run into issues, unlike a Time Machine backup. It can take several hours to completely restore from a Time Machine backup. Also, it's a good idea to test your backup. Try restoring some deleted or old files with Time Machine or boot from your clone drive. One last thing to note, if your Mac or any of its applications are absolutely necessary, you might consider upgrading when you have time to fix any problems that might arise. Or you might even wait until after the first major update when any initial bugs are resolved. This is typically about two to four weeks after the new operating system is released. So that's how you can prepare your Mac for upgrading to Mavericks. As I said before, it doesn't guarantee a successful upgrade, but it will greatly improve your chances for success. If there's anything you feel I left out, please leave a comment down below. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and maybe share this video with someone you know who also owns a Mac and is going to upgrade to Mavericks. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time.